Welcome to Patriot News Network 2. I'm Romeo. Let's talk about crime a little bit tonight. I know she's basically unbearable, but let's start with a maybe 20 seconds of Hillary Clinton and the completely um, stupid things she said yesterday. So let's start with that. Not the Republicans argument, because, of course, if you look at real crime statistics, which they're not interested in examining, uh, the states with the highest crime levels are states run by Republicans. That's just a fact. We saw that, you know, very clearly in the recent debate in Oklahoma for the governorship when the Democratic candidate said, wait a minute, you know, the crime rate in Oklahoma is higher than it is in New York. And nobody wanted to believe that mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to solve a problem, whether it's crime, inflation or anything else. So in that report she refers to, just so we're all on the same page, L.A. and New York weren't in that statistical analysis of crime. And we all know that L.A. and New York are the two largest places in the world for fuckery and crime and bullshit. So Hillary knew it was a lie when she said it. She still knows it's a lie. And Someday she'll answer to the living God for all of the lies she's told, allegedly, and all of the other horrible things, allegedly, she's done. Now let's uh, listen to a little Tucker Carlson on the same subject from about 20 minutes ago tonight. The Democratic Party of New York, you are calling every union leader and hack in the state and just shoveling cash to people to keep Lee Zeldin from winning. Zeldin is the Republican congressman from Suffolk County, who looks like he could be the next governor of New York, a state that went for Biden by 23 points. So what's that about? Well, simple, violent crime. It's out of control, particularly in New York City. It's destroying the city. For example, around 5.30 a.m. this morning in New York, a homeless man with 25 prior arrests, a suspect in previous sexual assaults who was out on the street, that man raped and robbed a 43-year-old woman who was out jogging in the West Village, a very nice, probably the nicest part of the city. Again, this guy was already wanted for two prior sex crimes. In one of them, back in April, he sexually assaulted a different woman who was out for a jog. In October, he tried to rip the clothes off a 48-year-old woman walking on, the FD, on FDR Drive. Then he tried to rape her. So why was this guy walking around the city this morning? And the real question is, since this guy just raped someone in the West Village this morning, where was Kathy Hochul, the great defender of women, Oh, she's a woman. She's a big feminist. Did Kathy Ogle say anything about this today? Anything? You know what she does say? You know what Kathy Hochul does say? She wants to take your guns away. She wants to make sure that there's absolutely no chance that you could defend yourself if you were attacked by that guy. I want you to remember that. Hillary, the same thing, okay? They want to make sure you're defenseless and can't ever protect yourself they want you to be a victim so tucker is right on point the democrats are throwing money at every candidate they can to try and not lose but you know what i have a feeling that they are going to lose because they should lose their policies are an abomination god bless guys we will bring you the news as it drops